Good afternoon this afternoon to Kevin Bartlett. Thanks very much, Drew, and uh, also a big welcome to Ross Glendinning. What a big day it is today for the Fremantle Football Club. We see Spider Burton in the ruck, and Toya's had a terrific season. They played their first game here on the MCG against Richmond in 95, and here they are now in the last game of 97. If they win this game, Roscoe, a definite chance to make the eighth spot. Yeah, no question, and they'll uh, all have to do that too, Kev, no question. So Phoebe goes to ground. It's pretty uh, desperate out on the half-back flank, taken away by his brother in Matthew, goes down towards the half-forward line, the high flyer. That's Russell Robinson, who's a very impressive young player. Gets it across to Viney, who's been magnificent again. He's played every game. Smith's got it. So this is the start that Demons have been looking for. It's been a horror season for Melbourne. And Sean Smith, you can see him there all taped up on the arm. He's had a broken forearm. He's had a ruptured liver. He nearly had, had a broken neck from Tony Lockett. Just about every injury imaginable in league football. And Greg Hutchison hoping that uh, he may still retain the coaching job at Melbourne. As Smith pumps the ball long right into the square. It's a great kick. Sensational start for Melbourne. Well, it is that great opening too, KB, that uh, good mark taken by Robinson, who pushed that ball forward for uh, Smith to take the mark. Great diving mark in front of his opponent, Shane Parker, who was hoping to match him for speed, but uh, we'll see this again. The kick from Smith, outstanding. Terrific finish from there. Spider Burton couldn't quite get a hand on it before the ball went through. Great opening. So a chance for Melbourne to get their second goal on the board. It's inside 50, kick it over the top to Clement. Once again, he's been a fine defender this year. A couple of times he's ventured up forward, kicks the ball deep and long. It's been taken by Callahan, one of their young guns. Kicks the ball out in front, Kingsley Hunter. Make that Peter Mann who's got it. Good mark, Kev. Really was a good mark. And again, Dale kick it, setting something up from the half-back line. He's been a great player all year. I was going to say, that's the danger for Frio today, Kev. The fact that Melbourne would want to finish on such a high note. Nothing to play for in terms of finals, but to, to finish off on a winning note takes you into the new season with a bit of confidence. Well, he's kicked 19 goals, 17 for the season. He's been averaging five marks a game. So the skipper has a chance to get the Dockers on the board. So Peter Mann taking plenty of time. He'll be kicking from just inside 50. So Mann's kick, the distance is there, not the accuracy. So it's just a minor score. So Melbourne by five points. Neats, good at ground level, feeds the ball out to Viney with strength. Good enough to get the handball away to Stephen Phoebe. Blocked, taken by Gale through to Jones. He pumps the ball back to the wing, Leach in front, but downfield, as we see a bit of an altercation on the half-back flank. Yes, Farmer and Callahan getting involved there, so the umpire paying that free kick downfield. Two fiery boys. Umpire getting right in close to Callahan, having a word to him. So the relayed free comes up the ground, taken by Quentin Leach from the logo. Towards centre half forward, man in front, good strong mark. It's been a good start by him, Drew, those two good marks early. Good strong ones leading from the front there. That's what they need. Farmer and Chisholm getting involved as well. Chisholm, a last minute replacement for Sinclair. And we thought there must have been a doubt about Sinclair, who injured his ankle last week, was selected and didn't take his place. So Peter Mann. Had a chance earlier on, kicked it behind. If he kicks a goal here, the Dockers will lead by a point. He's right in front, kicking from 52 metres. It's under it a bit, it's right on the line and punched through for a behind. So the Demons with the only goal of the match so far to Sean Smith. Cow with those quick hands back to Viney. Paddling the ball along was Mitchell, going to ground was Gurdjick. Good strong tackle by Callahan on Cow. It's a wild ball. It's forced forward by Kingsley Hunter. And O'Brien just got there on the line. Good effort by Kingsley Hunter. Get his boot to ball and get it accurately, accurately towards goal too. So, Gurgic there just limping. So the Demons looking to continue their momentum. They started well. Woden kicks in. Uze's been prominent, didn't have a chance against Burton. Lucky kick, Leach marks. It's an important player for them, Drew, Spider Burton. 
kick by Leach to the edge of the goal square. The attempted punch by Woe Woden didn't clear the area. Toya the hand pass, snapped by Mann, he's got this one. So Peter Mann's had three chances and finally gets his third and the Dockers lead by three points. Yes, and again, just the importance of the Dockers uh, double backing that centre line and getting the ball quickly forward where Quentin Leach was able to take that mark from about a 15 metre kick. And then just numbers told in the end with the congestion there and Peter Mann getting the spilt ball and a quick conversion there. Well done. Kick to centre half forward and an excellent defensive mark. James McDonald, the youngster, playing just his fourth game. So he kicks the ball wide, finds Stephen Phoebe across that half back line, kicks the ball back towards the wing position. A great one hander by Gale. Now he can set it up, goes short and finds the skipper. So Peter Mann wants to go over the top. Some hard running came from Mitchell. Outside of 50, a chip kick running with the flight is kick it all the way from the half back. And he's got a chance to have a shot for goal. Get to kick one this year too, Kev. They'll kick it, just the two points so far. Well, he averages nine handballs a game. He really has been a springboard of attack across half back this year. And at this time, he's been rewarded for some hard running. Yes, I'd suggest uh, Kev, he'd be pretty close to their best and fairest winner this year. He's had a great year. Spider Burton off for rest and Jeff White on. Great to see him back. So Dale kick it 45 metres out. He's drilled it. Yeah, well done, Dale kick it. Great running, as you said, Kevin, to get down from half back. Heath Black's also on for his first run. Dockers lead by nine points. Neats. And a snap is just offline. Anthony McDonald. So Melbourne 1-1. One, one. Fremantle, two goals, three. So Ben Allen to bring the ball back. Goes short and finds Callahan. Ben Allen playing his 145th game today. Been the best and fairest winner with Hawthorne in a premiership year. He's been a marvellous player. So he kicks the ball up to Wardhouse, who has pushed underneath the ball. Big thump back, taken by Stephen Phoebe to Cow. So Melbourne set it up wide to McDonald. This is James McDonald, pops it up. So it's one for the high flyers at ground level. It looked like Farmer thought he had it. McDonald pounced on it. He's off target. We read that pretty well. Mark Gale affected a terrific spore from behind, about four or five deep. But to McDonald on his favoured left boot, just couldn't uh, put that through. Steins against White. And pass out to Uze. Past O'Brien it goes. Gale is finishing the season off pretty well. Kick it. Sweeps the ball back to Jones. White at half forward. Long way out it need to be his career best kick. No breeze to speak of. Hunter a chance. Oh, he's got it. Beautiful mark. That's good confidence stuff by both the key forwards for Fremantle in Peter Mann and Kingsley Hunter. Deserves a goal. Again, good running by Dale Kickett. He's the player that came off half back when the change was made by Melbourne for Charles to come on the ground. He saw his, he was going to be free, so he ducked off through the middle. And they were able to set that up. So Hunter, only 30 metres from goal. Gets his first. Yeah, that's much better, Drew. Much better uh, finish from the big fellow. Good lead to and good use of his body on uh, Seacamp to get that. Oh. Well, as White goes up and smashes the ball down towards Toya. Over the top is Charles. Toya thought he should have got the free kick. Jones gets there first. Uze, oh. the tackler, seemed to catch him a fraction high. Jones now applies the tackle on McDonald. Toya cops one high as well from Hopgood. They're going in hard now, starting to flex the muscles, blowing up the biceps, and look at this, on hands and knees. I saw that on World Championship Wrestling once with Hulk Hogan, and we've got a ball up. No, it's a free kick going to Fremantle. Uh, oh, it should have been. The umpire said it was. He came in to pay it for a push in the back. Well, there's a ball up on the half-forward flank. Oh, that's plenty a of action, decision. plenty of feeling in this game. O'Brien's pushing and shoving with Toya. Stein's got the tap. Uze, quick kick back inside, 50. Gale's going to hit it hard. He's had a terrific second half of the year. Looks a real player of the future. Coming in hard was McDonald. That was James McDonald. Did well. And Neitz throws himself at the ball. Fantastic stuff. Allen short to Leach. Taking the ground. So Melbourne is tackling very, very strongly. Matthew Phoebe. 
uh, at half back. Kick it's coming off. So there's a blow to the Dockers. High flyer was Clement. Stephen Phoebe did well. Went low, finds Charles on the burst. He'll run inside 50. Sean Charles, a wild kick. Yeah, style kicker definitely coming off, hobbling on that right leg. He comes out short. Abraham started the game on the bench, kicked three goals last week. Mitchell had a spell on the bench already. He's lost it to Viney. Maybe time for the Demons yet. Just uh, 30 seconds remaining. Back to Viney. The open-handed hand pass floats out to Gergic. He beats a player. Goes from 48 offline. Uze is there, but it had too much carry a behind. Start of the second quarter. And a 12-point lead to the Dockers. Steins wins down to Viney. The kick outside the centre square. O'Brien taken forward in the tackle. Now a tackle applied by Hopgood. Viney's played every game this year, along with Jimmy Steins. The kick's poor, been taken by Leach. Ingerson and Woe Woden, and also every game for Melbourne. Sets it up, under pressure was Ben Allen. Jamie McDonald's done some nice things in the game so far. Bang, crashes straight into Anthony Jones and cops one high. And will take the free kick. And look at the Melbourne supporters. They're going berserk. They're delirious with the decision. This kid's shown something, hasn't he, James McDonald? Just playing his fourth game. His brother's played 19 this year. So it's been a great year for the family. Yes, and that kick coming out of Ben Allen, just uh, missing the target and the intercept by Melbourne. Get that ball forward. So McDonald from point blank range. Kicks a goal. Well, that's where it hurts you when you try and uh, get those short passes coming out of defence if they're not spot on. And uh, there's Anthony Jones on screen. In fact, Roscoe, you've got to kick the ball quickly through the air. Exactly. It just yep. can't hang in the air. Yep, there it is, just sitting up there. And Ben Allen just not aware that the player was going to come from behind. And Anthony Jones there, unfortunately, first instance in the tackle was definitely high. So James McDonald getting the goal for Melbourne came from Old Zavarians and the Amateurs, playing just his fourth game. And he won it with that smother and followed up and won a free kick. Burton goes in against Steins. Well done, Jimmy Steins. Find his hand pass. Hopgood. He's given it up under pressure. Well played, Uze, who's had a good start to the game. Long to full forward. Smith. Parker got hands to the ball and made sure it went through for a behind. So a wasted opportunity that time for the Dockers. Actually, Spider Burton did well to actually uh, keep uh, control of the ball. Now he's been paid a free kick. The umpire uh, indicated first here for Jim And Stiles. look at this for slack yep. play by Melbourne. They're standing around. And Greg Hutchinson would be very disappointed with that. Well, Kev, I think they got caught out because the umpire in the first is pointed towards Jim Stein's way. So the Melbourne players took off to make some space for him. And then the umpire pointed in Spider Burton's direction. So that's why Coop's got free. Well, he's just come onto the ground. He's kicked three goals for the season, yet to kick it behind. So from point blank range, he should pop it through. And he does. Well, first the umpire points the wrong way, and then the ball goes to a man straight off the bench. Yep. White to Gale. Just didn't quite get the bounce he wanted. Ground level, Coops. Matthew Phoebe in hard. Taken away by Jimmy Steins. Gets it back to Cow. He tries to chip it out wide. Finds Phoebe. This is Stephen Phoebe from half-back flank. Beautiful kick. Sean Charles. So the lead is on from Neitz. Got the bounce he wanted. And the runner in Uze, who screws it around the corner. And a free kick further down the field because Todd Viney was put to ground. Correct. So Melbourne can get within four points. Yes, that's just undisciplined play to give the ball up like that. Particularly downfield where they get a shot at goal now. So Farmer to take the kick. 24 goals for the season. He's a goal kicker. Just the one kick so far we saw before, which he put out of bounds on the fault. So the wizard. Just checking on the mark. And we can see there with that camera angle that there's 
plenty of goal space open virtually directly in front we can follow this in flight and he's kicked a goal Well, a disciplined play there by uh, Gavin Mitchell to get the free kick away downfield. And pushing Todd Viney over. And we'll see this infringement again. There's, oh, we just missed it out of screen. Azuzo kicked that ball there. We just saw uh, Viney go to ground. And the kick played downfield. So Jimmy Stein's virtually wrestling there as Ben Allen kicks the ball back towards the edge of the centre square. Mann tried to tap it over to Abraham at ground level. Mitchell got it. Handballed it out towards Mann. Good strong play by Ingers and forces it to O'Brien, who thumps the ball on. Great play. Melbourne in the front position here was Viney. Couldn't take it in the air. Does well at ground level. His handball just didn't hit its target. Jimmy Steins, great stuff. Back to Viney. Quick snap. Will's in the way. Yes, good play by Steins. Uh, Kobe, you're right there with Chisholm coming through, wanting to kick the ball off the ground to go forward. He just held the ball in. So Andrew Wills kicks the ball long. It's a beautiful kick down towards Mann. And he wins it well. Gives the ball off to Durke, who goes into the pocket. He was looking for Kingsley Hunter. Good strong play by Seacamp. Just bounced off Abraham. Then rockets the ball out wide to Phoebe. So Melbourne working hard out of defence. His brother, Anthony McDonald, pumps the ball up towards the half forward line. And a top mark taken by Robertson. Russell Robertson playing just his third game in the AFL. Came from the Tassie Mariners. He puts it inside centre half forward. Well, Mark should have been taken. Comes to Hopgood. Gets some run from Robertson. Oh, he went the short pass. It might be lucky for Farmer. Nobody with him. Jeffrey Farmer. He's missed it from about 15 metres. So you could have gone to the top of the square too to David Neitz. But back on the Dockers half forward line, Winston Abraham went to uh, hip and shoulder Marcus Seacamp when he should have tackled him. Sorry to get out of trouble. Abraham kicks to full forward, where it's easy for uh, Ingerson, the hand pass away. Cal streaming up the ground, Woe Woden. Decked oh. after he got rid of the kick. The crowd might have given up that free kick because they certainly yelled and drew attention to the umpire. It's going to be a relayed free. And definitely late though, Drew, on Winston Abraham. It's just unnecessary. There's nothing going from that at all. He has an inclination at times to do that. So Anthony McDonald will have the shot for goal. His brother James kicked one earlier this quarter. And this to put Melbourne in front. They trail by three points. He's barely made the distance. There's a mark. Sean White. It's on again behind play. Cal making sure that the uh, Dockers players know that they've made a blue. But at the other end of the ground, it is a mark. And Sean Smith will be kicking for goal. Improves the angle. I don't think he's put the demons in front. Oh, no question, Drew. That's against Winston Abraham. It's a very undisciplined piece of play. You'd be inclined to take him off for that. You just can't tolerate that sort of stuff at this level, at any level, really. The kick coming in, as Drew said, very much a low trajectory. He hardly had the carry, but jumping Jack Smith just got that beautifully and did the right thing, ran around. Waterhouse. Got Woe Woden the beat, had the pace to get by, just couldn't keep his footing. So Woe Woden pumps the ball back towards the halfback flank. The bounce favours McDonald, then he takes on Gale. He's had a terrific first half, the youngster. Back to McDonald. And very appreciative the Melbourne supporters. He kicks inside 50, high flyer from behind. Couldn't take it for Melbourne. Wills, it's a wild handball, tackling. Fantastic, here's the wizard farmer. Here come the demons, they need a bounce. Robertson with the ball, quick snap. He's got it. And the Melbourne fans absolutely ecstatic. They like what they're seeing here at the MCG. Fremantle fighting for a place in the top eight. The Demon 16th throwing down the gauntlet. The four goals to one in this second quarter has been a very dangerous period of play. Melbourne just surging forward, just showing a real win to get through and win this game making it extraordinarily hard for the Dockers. That's always going to be the danger at this stage of the year. So we get underway for the second half. And Fremantle trailing by nine points. Big Spider can't take clean possession. Callahan's been winning the ball out of the middle brilliantly. Hopgood spun around in a tackle. 
Dishes the ball out to Steins. Sits up for Farmer. Haven't gone far. Well, free kick Farmer Drew being held uh, to the thrown to the ground by Andrew Wills. And Farmer goes up towards the 50. Chance here for Melbourne. Stephen Phoebe. Ball wrapped up by Chisholm. Demons come out of trouble. Cal. Uze. He's played well out of Uze. The kick short of half forward to Stephen Phoebe. Jones spoils. Missed the ball, got Phoebe. Gale a hand pass. Oh, he took his eyes off it. Scotty Chisholm here and heaps of bother. Viney. Oh, it bounces well. Here goes Farmer. Right in front. And goals. And that's Scott Chisholm's director, Payne. Chisholm not realising coming away to try and bounce the ball. This bit of rain is a bit of grease on the top of the surface. Ball slipping away from him. He lost control. Melbourne in numbers got back to put the pressure on. Terrific kick by Viney into the path of uh, Farmer so he could run onto it. Clever play by the experienced leader at Melbourne. And Farmer finishes off. Two goals to Farmer. Melbourne now by 15 points. 44 plays, 29. Viney, tough in the clinches. Just try to crash his way through. Toya, equal to the task. Strong play. Hopgood, Viney once more. Some fancy footwork. Did well. Got the ball out to Matthew Fields. Caught high. No free kick. Yes, sir. Yeah, the umpire's bringing it back, Kevin. He's bringing it back because there was no doubt there was a free kick. And, and 50 plus metres. 50. Well, we couldn't hear the whistle here. We're actually perched in the, the grandstands amongst the supporters today. So impossible for us to hear the whistle. But uh, no doubt he was caught high. And we'll see here the tackle. A poor one there from Wills. Plus a 50 metre penalty. So Phoebe. Kicks the ball. He's looking for Neitz. Here's Free Farmer kick. the Wizard. Free kick. He's played on. Playing advantage. Farmer runs in. Melbourne are on fire. Well, again, Kevin, the free kick against Scotty Chisholm for running into Neitz with no intent on the football. His man then was the player Farmer who got free. That's a second running succession to Jeff Farmer. And all the running with Melbourne, no question. Jim Steins, what a remarkable performance. Ten years in a row he hasn't missed a game. Today playing his 244th. Up against Burton. Spider wins it to Toya. Dropped it red hot in the tackle. Melbourne's ball. It goes to Cal. Cal kicks to centre half forward. Meets in front. He's a chance here, David Meets. Haven't got many tall forwards up there. Sean Smith can become tall when he leaps as high as a goalpost. <laughs> David Meets might be having a shot. 55 metres out. Kicks it a country kilometre! What a goal! <laughs> Melbourne on fire, they lead by 26. Yes, well, David Leach uh, hasn't had much of the footy today. Just the four handballs and that one kick, but what's such an important kick. Anthony Jones has had the better of him in that duel. But again, Melbourne able to turn the ball over on the wing with the tackle on Luke Torrey and bring the ball forward and result in a goal. Once again, never hit a target. Heath Black equal to the occasion. Round the corner, looking for Callahan. Tried to take a one-hander. Still a loose ball. Toya shoveled it out to Mitchell. Rockets the ball inside the centre square. Here comes Gale. He's got beautiful skills. He'll kick the ball long. In the pocket, it's a mark. And Stephen Coops has got it. Well, Coops plays on. It's a shocking kick. Straight across the face of goals. Waterhouse has got it. He'll call it a pass. <laughs> so Clive Waterhouse. Yet to kick a goal. He's been on and off the ground. He was benched uh, early in the game. He's had the six kicks and he's taken the five marks. Kingsley Hunter coming off for a spell and Ben Allen back onto the ground. 
be able to play full forward, you know, Waterhouse. But that ability to jump at, at ground level. This is an important kick for the Dockers. He doesn't like it. Yes, I think with this light rain falling again too, uh, Kevin, that Jared Neesham would want to smaller player up forward with Hunter and also Peter Mann there not having the effect they wanted so Ben Allen's on Kleiman's just come on for Melbourne replacing youngster James McDonald Shane Woe Woden what a first season playing every game Norwich Rising Star nomination Melbourne 8 goals 8 Fremantle 4-7 Woe Woden towards the southern stand side for Stein. What a mark by Uze. Oh, playing far taller than he is. Uze to half forward. Neitz gets underneath it. Chance for Robertson to run onto it. Gets it inside 50, but loses his footing. Clement goes for the line and didn't miss by a long, a, a, a little bit. Kicked it into about the eighth row of the seats. Well, Russell Robertson from the Tassie Mariners. Kicked the goal already, playing just his third game. 55 out on the boundary line. Neitz works to the front. On the ground, Farmer! That's three for the quarter to Farmer. Well, poor defensive play there by the Dockers. All the defenders went up in the air for the kick that was set up there for Neitz. Farmer did the right thing as a roving, crumbing type player in that area. He stayed on the ground. And elusively and very cleverly, watch this, all the Frio players up and Farmer cleverly out of the air. Melbourne has doubled Frio's score, 62 plays, 31. Jeff Farmer with four goals, three goals in this third term. He's been a star. Uze from the centre square meets the target. He's only had the one kick against Jones. He's kicked a goal. This could be goal number two. He's missed a great opportunity. So from the back edge of the centre square to the half four line, Wardhouse in front. This is very good. I'm a bit of a fan of Clive Wardhouse's. Six marks. I think he's got something. So he kicks first into the front of the square, sitting in front was Mann, thumped away, Durke just couldn't take it. But a free kick for a push. It's going to Coops. It's also a player with a lot of potential, Stephen Coops. Started on the bench. Spider Burton comes off for S, Jeff White will come on. Coops has had some leg problems. So they uh, clear up for him over the pre-season. They try by 32 points. Can he drag it back to 26 points? 40 metres out. He's got it. Well, it becomes their first model of goal scorer. With the two now. And they've got their work cut out at the moment, the Fremantle Dockers. See this infringement again. Right out of the top, definite free kick there. And the Dockers having trouble getting the ball out of the centre where Melbourne have been very good. White over the top of Steins. And Jimmy Steins, who's given away more free kicks than anybody in the competition this year, but has also received more than anybody. So is he square, Drew? <laughs> I think the uh, away might be slightly ahead of the uh, four. Centering kick to the edge of the square, all Fremantle, and the mark to White. Thrown to the ground by Farmer. That by said play on, oh, don't tell me. It's a goal to Farmer. Now Farmer's kicked four for the quarter. And five for the game. As the Demons go marching on. Yes, the Dockers play is just asking what the free kick was for to. When did he play on? He said he took a few steps over his line. He's back to the play. Well, back to the umpire, Jeff White. He didn't realise the whistle had gone or the call had been given. The farmer takes the opportunity. Well, an amazing quarter by that man, Jeff Farmer. Melbourne by 32 points. White runs straight into Jimmy Steins. 
and uh, gets the free kick. What do you think, Roscoe? Well, the umpire is saying that uh, Steins was the culprit. Well, Jeff White kicks the ball out towards the half forward line, looking for his skipper. Ingerson's been very good all day. He's been strong, punching the ball away. Clarkson, clever from the half back line. He's looking for David Neitz. Jones has been a top defender. Gives it back to Gale, who's been good under pressure to Leach. Got to watch out if Farmer's around. He's been magnificent in this third team with four goals, five for the match. To Toya, inside the centre square. So the youngster comes away, kicks up once more, mans the target, and he's got it. Ten nine sixty nine, Melbourne. Fremantle, 5-7-37. There's some well done Anthony Jones on the outer flank there at the half-back line, just making sure that he kept that ball in play. And Steins is still querying the, uh, the free kick in the middle of the ground, saying he was hit right in the midriff. Well, there's been a 44-point turnaround since quarter time. And the Dockers led by 12. They now trail by 32. And Jeff Farmer is actually coming off the ground. So is Stephen Phoebe. He's hobbling off. So there's a disappointment for Melbourne because he has just been simply magnificent in this third quarter. Now the skipper to get one back. It's missed. Well, Peter Mann took three marks in the first 15 minutes of the game. Now he's only up to five halfway through the third quarter. Matthew Phoebe to Charles who's just replaced Farmer. It comes to Viney. Todd Viney's been brilliant. Some of his disposal less than perfect, but his attitude has been great. Charles puts the hand pass out in front. Marcus Seacamp on the forward line. Kick off the side of the boot. Neat's charge. Oh, and Neat's got his teammate. And the umpire will ball it up. As if Sean Smith needs that. Yeah. He's been knocked from pillar to post by everybody in the competition. Yes, David Neitz uh, thinking that the Dockers players might have got in the way there, came crashing through to his teammate. Tap Goldwoods, out of the air for a goal! It's Robertson, Drew. O'Brien got the goal. Yep. Well, the Demon's irresistible. Well, terrific roving there by O'Brien. He's had uh, limited opportunities this year. This is just his 11th game. Callahan with 18 possessions and eight marks. It's been tireless for the Dockers. Needs a few more mates. They're going to keep their finals chances alive. Heath Black taken to the ground by Uze. Toya had it, lost it, taken by McDonald. Now you see him, now you don't. Comes away with the ball, kicks to space. Coming across is Jones. Courageous play, got a foot to the ball. The race is on. Hopgood versus Jones. He takes him on. Hopgood, great burst of speed. Runs to 50, out in front of Charles, over the top. Robertson's got it. Uh, disappointment too. Uh, unfortunately, Kevin, for Anthony Jones in that chase, he's pulled a hamstring. He's got to come off. Unbelievable. You could see when uh, Hopgood actually he gave the, the chase ball, up. Yeah. he gave the chase up. Yep. So Dirk had to come back on, but good play by Melbourne. Well, Robinson kicked a goal in the second term. He's one of the young players that Melbourne is hoping will come through next year, just playing his third game. He's had six possessions, three marks. He's going for goal number two. He's got it. The Demons are on a roll. Well, they deserve very much to be where they are in this game, the Demons. They've been very much hard at it. They've used the ball much better. And after fritting away uh, opportunities early in the game, in terms of when they've had the ball and pushed it forward with no real purpose, they've turned that around very, very quickly. Their tackling and presence has been great. Seven goals for the quarter. Probably one of their best for the year. White goes defensively. Toya slips the ground. Grass just a little bit slippery on top after drizzly rain. Finey, well done. Steins. Demons in a wave. Mitchell got a touch. Wills hasn't had one of his best ones for the season. Oh, you took them on and you lost. Brilliant tackle there by Todd Viney. No whistle on the play. Comes to Black. Thumps it along with a spiral to full forward. Off hands to Waterhouse. Round the corner goes Clive Waterhouse. 
It's pretty close. Should be a goal to Coops, his third. Well, Drew Coops and Waterhouse in the only forwards that look dangerous. And Kev, you're right, when Waterhouse does get around the footy, something's going to happen. You mentioned it's uh, sometimes mistakes. But at least you know he's going to give you a contest and he's learning more about the game. He's still very young in terms of football years and his knowledge of the game, but he's, uh, he's learning all the time. And Coops has been good value today with his third. You'd have to think with Joe Gutnick's money and Danny Corcoran's recruiting and perhaps a new coach, maybe it'll be Neil Danaher and a few uh, interstate-based Melbourne-born boys perhaps coming back home that Melbourne could be something next year. Hand pass out in front of Allen. Ben Allen lopes up to the 50. Nobody coming towards him, so Matthew Phoebe gets around the Shepherder and gets to him from behind. Centering kick, not with conviction, and it goes through for a minor score. Chance for Melbourne to uh, finish the season on a high note, and they're certainly well placed, leading by six goals into the last break. McDonald to Viney. Oh, Uze takes a freak mark, kicks to the goal squares, and it gets through for a goal. Is that a good game, Drew, out of Uze? Yeah. Magical skills by Uze. And again, they just stole the ball out of the centre. It looked to be in Frio's favour, but they just pushed forward. Viney involved. Just see this here. It looked to be the advantage. Black just pushes it out, but then quickly moved through. Great catch there by Uze, and then the long driving kick. Chisholm couldn't get back there in time to stop that. That's the goal the Frio wanted at the start of the quarter. And Burton gets over the top of Steins, comes to Viney again. Kick smothered. Cowell hits it very hard. He's got speed, Darren Cowell. Smith has the sit. Oh, any amount of Melbourne players. Robertson back to Pyman. Spent much time on the ground, uh, Robert Pyman. Just his second kick. We're all the running definitely with Melbourne, and a few of the Dockers' heads are starting to head towards the ground. Jared Neesham through Dipper said that keep your heads up and just keep having a crack at this last quarter. Plenty to win, plenty to gain if you get going forward and kick goals, but not looking like it at the moment. And there's Jared Neesham. He'd be disappointed. Dockers got everything to play for in this final term. Maybe even a place in the final eight, apart from winning 11 half wins for the season, which would have been their best ever. Here's Black. Can he put the finishing touches to this? That's a great kick, Heath Black. Super goal. Well, he almost kicked a replica of that uh, last week against Geelong. Kev uh, off a half forward flank outside 50. And uh, just giving the Dockers a little bit of life there, but they're going to need much more of that sort of play. But the way they've been controlled in the middle, it's unlikely they're going to get that at the moment unless they really do uh, break free. Terrific driving goal. Great kick. Well, a few pluses uh, for the Dockers this year. Roscoe certainly has been Heath Black. Stephen Coops today with his three goals. We know he's a young player of immense talent. Young uh, Sinclair who didn't take his place in the side today. Yep. And I think Wardhouse too has shown this year that uh, he can really become a player for the Dockers as well. Burton over the top, but Viney sharks it out to Uze. He's kicked to Neitz on the 50. Couldn't quite trap it. Now he's got it. Oh, well done, David Neitz. Smith! Brilliant footy by Neitz. Well, from Jared Nation. The head was about to go into the hands, I reckon. Yeah, it's great work again out of the centre. Just so important, we've mentioned so many times in the game of footy. If you can get the ball out quickly through the centre, your forwards have a chance. Sean Smith going for his third from three kicks. 100% record. Drew, that's basically what you want from a forward, to get kicks and kick goals from that situation. That's a perfect record, as you say. It's not only that, it's the pressure the Melbourne forwards have put on the Dockers' back half. Haven't allowed that, that free-running game they like. And particularly after Darwin kick it went off the ground, that knee problem. They, he was the only player early who was given that sort of run and creating a bit of uh, drive for them.
48 point lead to Melbourne. Great way for the Demons to end the season. Good for Greg Hutchison. Just might get in the senior coaching position. Hopgood's been a good player all day. Wills below his best today. And a free kick downfield. So a chance for Stephen Coops to kick his fourth goal. Looks like Andrew Wills may have also hurt his hamstring. So is it going to come all the way back or downfield? They indicated downfield. Yeah, they're going to do that, I think, Kip. So the ball will come back and it should go to Stephen Coops. Yeah, Andrew Hill certainly uh, clutching his right hamstring at the top, just below the buttock, so... So Stephen Coops from 40 metres out. He's got it. there on Hopgood. Uh, Hopgood kept him pretty quiet for the most part of the day. Stephen Coops with his fourth goal. Todd Viney, look at that. Desperation. Callahan goes to ground. Wild kick. Back to Charles. Melbourne hunting in numbers now. Phoebe pumps the ball back to the wing. Jones got... Leach it was. Got pushed under the ball. Did well. Back to Gale. Looks a promising player to me, Gale. Finds Spider Burton. Inside the centre square. It's out in front. The high leaper is Jeff White. And if you can believe the rumours, he could be playing for Melbourne next year, Roscoe. Yes, he's got a pretty tough decision. I mean, Fremantle have been fantastic to him and uh, given him the opportunity. He's worked hard for them. So he does face an enormously tough decision. Well, they've got a lot of ruckmen at Fremantle and Melbourne have only got one. There's a bit of a problem with uh, the long term with Matthew Burton's knee as Charles comes off. And Jamie McDonald comes on. Had a terrific first half. White from directly in front. Doesn't like it. Well, KB, I know that... Uh... Jeff Farmer is just a young kid from country Western Australia and you were a premiership best and fairest champion. What would you do if the runner came out to you and said, off you go, son, if you had five goals and one more was going to get you the leading goal kicker? I've got a feeling there must be uh, something wrong with Jeff Farmer. I don't think they'd be wrestling in the last but as you said, game Kev, of the year. What have they got to hide if they say what's wrong? And Frankie goes against uh, Todd Viney by holding the ball. No effort being made to get rid of it, they said. Well, let's go back to Dipper. Dipper, they told you three-quarter time that they were just resting Jeff Farmer. Well, I've just checked again with the, uh, the doctors and everybody concerned with Melbourne. Yes, he's still just being rested. He's not injured. Maybe David Leach took him off so he wouldn't beat him in the club record. Oh, White's kick. Oh. He passed it to Mann and it was topped off by Ingerson who ran it through. Well, Jeff White just had a shot for goal and missed. He had a shot at a pass and missed and Jim Steins gave him a mouthful. Gergic with good distance in the direction of Viney. Oh, Todd Viney, well done. Here's Farmer back on the ground. Go, son. He kicks to the square. Smith. No mark this time. He's looking for four from four. Callahan spoils him and kicks too far. Out of bounds on the full. And Clarkson will take the free into play. Well, Farmer might have been saved for a grandstand finish, and he nearly provided it there. Alistair Clarkson, 35 metres out on the boundary line. Oh, not bad. Not bad. What a goal. Well, in the words of the classics, they're kicking them from everywhere. <laughs> well, I suppose some of the Melbourne supporters will be saying it's great to finish off this way, but why would we have this same sort of spirit early in the year? Now, where was the, uh, where were the problems? Why do we have this sort of commitment and effort? Looks promising as well. Heath Black, one of the pluses for the Dockers. Gets it out to White. Didn't really hit a target. Toya always battles hard. Numbers win out. Two against one. Stein gives it to Hopgood. He's been great. 
across that half-back line. He's played a big game. Neats going to the ground was Viney, who for mine has been best player on the ground. I agree with you. And Hopgood not far behind. Yep. You're just not been, a bad judge. Just been superb. Fowler, the wizard from the pocket. Is this going to bounce through? Wrong side. I think they should take him off. He looks pretty tired now. <laughs> That's his first blemish for the day. <laughs> and would he be aware of the leading goal kicker situation and that he's just one behind David Neach? Would it come into your thinking? I wouldn't think so. No. Here's the shot from the goal post. Gale goes short to the back pocket. Goes short to the long option. Burton to Toya. Mitchell running through the middle. Black. Very colourful side with Black, White and Brown missing this week. Here's Hunter. Peter Mann, 52 metres out. Just hoisted up high, giving White a chance. Wills on one leg, misses. Well, if Jeff White's uh, kick to the square before to Peter Mann, uh, where it just rolled through and missed, was typified uh, their game today. That situation certainly does. Well, Woden short finds O'Brien to Hopgood. Tumbles the ball inside the centre square. Cut off this time by Leach, who goes wide. There's a good grab to Ingerson. He's been very good today in defence to Clarkson. He's just kicked a great goal. So he thumps the ball back. Oh, push out. Free kick's got to go to Farmer. Now, will he take him on? Will he try and walk around him here, Roscoe? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes for a long bomb. He's got good distance. Just thought maybe a thrill for the crowd. <laughs> With that light rain still falling. With uh, just under eight minutes left, I thought maybe. We'll have a go at it. Might just have a crack at it. Into Clement. It is getting a little inclement now. It is. I like it. Centre wing. Man sets himself with Ingerson. Melbourne have played on at all times today. Phoebe the hand pass back. Gergek across the ground. Beautiful option. And Uze has played an excellent game. 19, uh, 19 disposals. This youngster's been good too. McDonald. Here's Farmer. Inside 50 near the boundary line. What can he produce? Oh, what can he produce? Magnificent! <laughs> that is six for the game. And who knows how many he might have kicked if he hadn't spent half an hour on the bench. <laughs> well, I reckon David Neitz might have slipped Hutchinson a few dollars there and said, keep him off a bit longer. <laughs> well, I think uh, Jeff might have slipped him some more back and said, get me back on. That's a terrific goal. O'Brien, one of the veterans, gets it back to Pyman as the kick smothered. Desperate play once more. Tremendous play by Melbourne. They've hunted in numbers today. Viney coming off. No easy kicks for the Dockers. Man has it intercepted by McDonald. Smith's the target. Pushed out by Chisholm. And listen to this round of applause for Todd Viney. A magnificent game today. 30 possessions, three marks, and a ton of inspiration. Replaced by Russell Robertson with five minutes of the game to go. And the Melbourne faithful are gathering near the race. I don't think they'll wait for the second siren today. I think they'll be out there like they've won a premiership the minute the full-time siren goes. Still putting pressure on, but Mitchell breaks free. Will's on his own, and he's only 15 or 20 metres from goal. And the only chance he was uh, that far on his own is he's been immobilised by a torn hamstring, but nobody to come on to replace him. Yep. Wills goes for the goal and just gets it home. <laughs> he didn't give it much, did he, from no, about 20 metres? Yep. Well, a belated goal there to uh, Andrew Wills. Kicks back towards centre-half forward, Waterhouse. Done some nice things today. Seacamp. Goes wide to Uze. I think Melbourne would be pleased with his season. Disappointing a bit last year, but very good this year and a terrific game to finish the season on to O'Brien there's a loose player this is Robinson he's just come off the bench back to Uze some hard running from half back onto the left boot bangs it through 
He's kicked two. Best game I've seen him play, I think, Kevin Adamuze. His finishing's been very good, his work ethic's been great. And he, Viney, and Hopgood, and obviously Jeff Farm with those six goals have couple, been Melbourne's best. A couple of Melbourne supporters just in front of us because we're broadcasting from uh, the crowd today in the stands. Just said, pity we're not in the finals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's always a wag get somewhere, isn't there? He's in there. And he's fixed up Callahan after he had a great start to the game. Abraham's kick floats inside 50. Good pick up by Spider. Back to Mitchell, should be a goal. And he's missed to the right. Oh, just I'm thinking about the losing trip back home on the plane. You've lost the game at the end of the season. Yeah. Half your squad's injured. What a shocking trip it'll be. Yeah, enormously sad way to finish the year. And a big chance too because uh, in that Carlton-Richmond game, just four points, the difference in that game with uh, Carlton leading. So they've wasted a great opportunity. So we see the ball from Dirk A, comes to Mitchell, this time a long bomb, and he's got it. Well, finally he finds that big opening. He's been... Uh, very quiet this year, Gavin Mitchell. To only the 15 games has had real struggle with form and hasn't been able to give the extra drive around the middle of the ground that, uh, to support Toya and Callahan. He's had a few teammates as well. So, it's a chance for Port Adelaide tomorrow. Can they beat the competition leader, St Kilda? Maybe Port to get in the finals. There's a 50 metre free kick. Going to Jeff White against Anthony Ingerson, I think it was. So he'll come down to the 50 metre arc inside there. And the uh, the noise of the Melbourne supporters that first night when they beat North Melbourne was fantastic. There's not much of a crowd here today, but stand by for the din that will happen at full time in this game, which is 23 seconds away. Melbourne, horrid in the middle, they change coaches, but they're going to win games 1 and 22. White kicks a consolation goal for the Dockers. Well, just a few seconds left in this game. White wins the tap. Coops has been good, he's booted four goals for the Dockers. There's the siren. The minutes end of the season for Melbourne. And you'll see the enjoyment on their faces. Bro Woden there, big smile, Jimmy Steins as well. Jeff Farmer with six magnificent goals. What a day for Melbourne. And they've finished on the highest of high notes. This has been a Fox Footy presentation for Fox Sports.